Today, I want to explore the idea of babies bring wealth. This is another one of those concepts that I've learned from my culture. So many of you guys know I spent the first two decades of my life really resenting my culture, being back and forth between the Pakistani culture and being born and raised in the U.S. So I would go back and forth a lot. My parents really wanted to make sure that I knew the language, the culture, the religion, all the things. And my rebellious self uh, felt like I was torn between the two worlds. And I wanted to reject my Eastern culture and just be American. Then the later two decades of my life, I spent integrating those lost parts and really appreciating everything that my culture has taught me. It is such a beautiful culture with so much spirituality, so much life wisdom that I now bring to you guys and share in my YouTube channel, my books, my courses, and it has helped tens of thousands of people, if not millions already with the ripple effect. This is again, one of those concepts that I learned from my culture that each soul has its own barkat. Barkat means your currency, your God-given right, your ability to take make something from nothing that has been given to all human beings. I talk about this in my uh, barkat course and even in my Lady Balls book, if you guys wanna learn more. And so when a soul is coming to this world, it has its own pot of money and wealth that's already been written in its name. Now, it has to obviously activate, activate that portal. It cannot be in resistance to that. But when it's in your utero, when it's in womb, when it's in the mom's womb, it is the parent's job to be an op open portal to receive it. I see a lot of people... It's even my wealthy clients worrying about, oh, babies are so expensive. How are we going to do this? School is so expensive. You know, whatever the thing is. What you're doing when you worry about your baby's future and you worry about where the money is going to come is you are not being an open channel to God's wealth that's already been written for that baby. Your job is not to worry about where the baby is going to be provided for. You are not the source you are a channel. And in order to be a channel, remember that every baby brings its own wealth. Every baby. A lot of times people will, the parents will block this by acting like it's all on them. When you block it, God will raise his hands and it's now on you. And now you are going to have to struggle and create from the, the 3D. But if you really want to have barakat coming through your baby, stop worrying about money. In fact, if you are pregnant or if someone you know is pregnant or if you're putting off your pregnancy because you think you don't have the money, just walk around saying things like every soul has its own barakat. Every soul comes with its own wealth. Every baby brings its own money. This has been so true in my own life with my three children. And I've seen this countless times for family members, friends, clients, don't worry about where the money is going to come from. God gave the soul to you to raise. You are just a channel. You are not the source. So please don't worry about things like that. We were having this conversation in my Kainat office hour session that I just got done. And we have such amazing conversations in there. And one of the things I realized on a whole new level after our session today is how much wisdom my culture has given me. And how much I still take it for granted that everyone else also knows this. Uh, this session was really beautiful because my clients, my students in there were reminding me all the ways that I have helped them and changed their perspective and changed their lives by simply bringing these universal ancient Eastern principles to their knowledge. And so I want to get better at doing that because I have this problem when I think I think if I know something, everyone also knows it. And I take that for granted. But the truth is, sometimes even if you know it, you need to hear it. You need to hear it again. So if you are struggling or if you think someone in your life is struggling because they're pregnant or thinking about conceiving, but they're in fear consciousness, please don't be. Please don't be. Open your mind up. God would not have given you this baby or put the desire in your heart to have this baby if the money wasn't already written. OK, I've seen money come into people's lives in miraculous ways. Now, this doesn't mean that you're not a good portal. How do you become a good portal? How do you become a good channel? 
education, skill sets, like do the things you need to do to be a better parent, to better be a better human, to be in service of being a better citizen to humanity. Do the things that make you more productive in society. Learn those skill sets that you need. Have an education. Like I'm so, so, so big on education and skill sets because the more education we have, the more our mind is open, the more our mind is open, the more in receptive energy we are, right? The more skill set we have, the more we're able to add value, the more value we add to society, the more money we make. So obviously this is not about us being lazy and not doing our part. This is a co-creation after all, but also it, the burden is not all on your shoulders. It's really not. Let God do the heavy lifting, knowing that each soul has its own barakat, and then become an open portal by saying, how can I brush up on my skills? How, how can I add more value to society? How can I get more educated? How can I open my mind up? And if it's your partner that's worried, then as his wife, it is your responsibility to bring that positive energy. Don't make him wrong. Don't judge him. You know, judging his judgment is only going to add more judgment. But let him know that you have faith in him. You have faith in God and that you are not worried. You are not concerned. And you know that as long as you guys are, you know, staying in that open energy and putting your faith where it belongs in your higher power, whether you call it God or the quantum field, whatever you refer to your higher power as, that is the ultimate giver. And so it's not on you. Okay. So let me know in the comments if this is helpful to you or if there's someone in your life that you know needs to hear this message, make sure that this video makes it to them. Quick reminder that Duality course has opened up officially. I'll put the link in the description box. The um, recorded content, six lessons are there. The two live are happening next week on October 15th and 17th. And also these are the last three days to get the $1,700 scholarship on my Get the Ring Now formula. So if you know babies are in your future and you want to get married, that is the right course for you. It has everything you need to speed up the process of dating and vetting and all the things um, through using ancestral dating techniques. So I love you guys. Let me know your key takeaways. Send this video over to whoever needs it. All the links are in the description box. I love you. I'll see you in the next one.